again everyone, it's me Madame Cub, and welcome to a new video. So as many of you guys know, I often go to a variety of different conventions and I'm pretty big into cosplay and I'm actually going to be going to a convention tomorrow I'll be leaving and by the time this video goes live, I will be at the convention. This one in particular is SoccerCon 2018 in downtown Seattle. However, it brought me the idea for a fun new video type. Many of you might also be interested in conventions, whether it be since this is a horror channel, you might be more interested in horror conventions such as Crypticon. Artemis just jumped in a bag, it's fine. You, you just, now Apollo's gonna fight for it. I, Anyway, so if you have been interested in going to conventions, whether it be like a Comic Con, a Crypticon, a horror convention, Haunters convention, anime convention, whatever, this video might be useful for you if you are new to it, or even if you've done it a couple years and have had trouble getting your bag properly packed. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what is inside my convention bag. And this year I actually don't have a hotel near the convention, so this is like the big version, not even my like small compact. It's a very different experience when you have a nearby hotel or even a hotel right above the convention that you can just pop back up to to get things, but if you are in a situation like I am for this convention where you are not going to have a hotel room there, so you need everything you're gonna need the entire day on your person, you're going to need to pack in a certain way. So let's take a look, shall we? <sighs> well, first off, you'll notice that there are uh, some, some little things on the side of this. These are not things you may particularly need. I just found it particularly useful that my bag has two water bottle holders, which are perfect for me not having to carry my replica guns from Scarborough Fair because this year I'm doing a Bayonetta cosplay and these my dad's friend made for me and I painted them and did all the detailing. They're quite heavy, they're actually made of wood, so I don't want to have to have my hands full of these all day over the entire con. So it's quite handy to actually have those, uh, those water bottle holder things. So as you can see, I've got myself a nice size backpack. Basically, if you are going with a hotel room, you're probably not going to need as big of a backpack. I mean, unless you're planning on buying a lot of stuff, then go crazy because you're going you're gonna to want to fill it up. But uh, in my case, because I need it all day, it has to be big enough to carry. Make sure it's something that's comfortable. I went with low impact colors that aren't gonna stand out too much against my cosplay. Sometimes you can find themed bags and stuff, and if you can find a bag that works with your character, then by all means go for it. I just wanted something that wasn't gonna kill one shoulder or the other because of messenger bags. I can't do it when the bag gets too heavy and puts too much pressure on one side. It's not a fun time for me. So let's go ahead and dig on in and see what's in the bag. So first of all, what is going to be extremely important at any convention, you want to get a good water bottle. Basically, I got one of the fancy ones where, you know, just one-handed, you, you don't need to mess with trying to screw it open or anything. That way, if I'm somewhere where it's crowded and I'm carrying a lot of stuff, I don't have to finagle with a twist top bottle and it, it's much easier just to be able to press a button. You don't have to have a fancy one like this, I just like it for the convenience, but uh, you're gonna wanna have a water bottle. It can be one of the little plastic ones, they're lighter weight and you can throw them away. I just like this because I can reuse it and it's a little more eco-friendly. But uh, you want to have a water bottle because it's so easy to forget to stay hydrated and you wouldn't believe the amount of people that get sick or get heat stroke depending on where you're cosplaying and what you're wearing. And it's just so important to stay hydrated. Okay, I'm gonna have to rem This is responsible. Be gone. But anyway, it is very important to stay hydrated at these kind of events because you get so excited and so overwhelmed by everything else going on, it is so easy, so easy to forget to eat and drink properly, even though I know it's not something important, just, you know, your basic human needs, but let's be real, it's how it goes. So it's a good idea to have a water bottle just to, you know, not pass out. Now moving along, let's see what else I got in here. Okay, more stuff you guys are not gonna have in your bag, but you may have your equivalency for props, but I've got, these are the other, parts of Scarborough Fair. These ones, they have Velcro, they go on the shoes. I am not gonna risk walking around in a busy convention hall with these on because 
People can be jerks, they'll kick your props, they'll break your props, especially people who don't know what it's like to cosplay, they don't care, they haven't put the time into it, they don't understand, they won't look where they're going. So rather than risking busting these things that took hours upon hours upon hours to make, I made them removable and they'll go in my bag when I'm not stopped for photos. So those more in the bag. Next. A reusable tote. I have it rolled up all tight in a little burrito, but basically it's one of those like reusable shopping bag type things. I get this because I know inevitably I'm going to buy a bunch of stuff I don't need and I don't want to overstuff the backpack to where things get broken or if I run out of space for whatever reason. It's always good to have an extra bag to carry things around in and I like this better than like an actual just plastic bag because those can burst. And then for me personally, I always like to bring a pair of sunglasses because it's actually supposed to be nice weather this weekend, fingers crossed, you know, by the time this is live, hopefully I'll know. But uh, sunglasses are always good to have because uh, if you go outside, and I mean, obviously I won't wear them during a photo shoot, but being able to find my way around outside without stumbling blindly because let me tell you I'm an extremely light sensitive person it's always lent itself to, to vampire jokes along with the whole pale just the, the whole thing okay but I always get the jokes because the sunlight actually makes me sneeze going on a tangent I got it from my dad it's, it's weird but uh I am extremely light sensitive and I get blinded by the light every time I go outside when it's nice so these are in my bag for safety reasons and then I've got a little pouch Basically, a lot of people have little bags like this lying around. You sort of accumulate them over time. If not, you can find them at like Target or Walmart or anywhere. Just a little bag like this. Handy dandy for keeping like a little emergency kit in there. Like I've got a nail file. Got nail clippers in here. Let me tell you, it was a learning experience to pack those because there's nothing quite like the joy of being in the middle of a crowded convention center, having one of your nails get caught on something, break, just get jagged and sharp and, you know, not fun. And having nobody in the group have nail clippers or a file on hand, this has happened before, and your only option is to walk a mile away from the convention center to the nearest Walgreens just to get one. Because not all conventions are located near stores that have things like these. So you're going to pay way more than you'll want to on an item you already have at home just to fix your nails so you're not stabbing yourself all day long. So it's better just to have one at hand and avoid that altogether. This very important hand sanitizer. You do not want to forget this one because let's be honest, cons come with the con plague. You don't want to get it. I mean, it seems inevitably someone always in your group is always going to get sick by the end. But if you are constantly using hand sanitizer and proper hand washing hygiene, perhaps you will be one of the ones that survives the con crud. Another life saving element. Can't really see it all that well, but uh, this is a little packet I have of safety pins. Always good to have if some part of your costume busts or seam and that you don't you don't want to like just have to hold it awkwardly on your way to the repair station and not even all conventions have repair stations so it would be a good idea I don't actually have thread and needle in in this little pack this time because fortunately this convention has an entire room full of sewing machines and safety pins and all sorts of stuff so I'm not, I haven't packed the thread but that's one thing you should consider if you don't have a repair station but I keep safety pins just in case because that can keep it together until I can get to the repair station worst case scenario Scenario. Then another thing that's very important is a you're gonna want. Oh, it's open. I'm having issues. It's fine. Got it. Uh, powder. Just I have just a regular transparent powder. You never know when you're gonna need to like touch up on resetting things, and it's just it's good to have transparent powder on the go if you can't have your whole arsenal of makeup with you. It's very important. Another thing I have in here, fashion tape. Depending on your type of costume, it may be an actual lifesaver to have fashion tape if things keep flying up and showing things that aren't supposed to be shown. So fashion tape is a good thing to have, very helpful. 
And then uh, the last thing I got is uh, moleskin. If you are wearing any particular types of shoes that rub on your feet in weird ways, which a lot of cosplay shoes are not the most comfortable to wear, moleskin may save your life, so that's a good thing to have too. All right, and then for folks like me, this is just a plain old lightweight empty glasses case because I'm gonna be going in contacts to the con, but it's so important to have your case of contact stuff to be able to pop those out at the end of the day or if your eyes just have had enough, be able to put my regular glasses back on. Oh, here's another lifesaver along with the mole skin. These bad boys have saved my feet so many times. They're just the Dr. Scholl's like, I don't know, they're like little, they turn into flats, but they roll up to this itty bitty size. You can just, they're super lightweight. You can just pop them right in your bag. And if your feet are killing you and you just have to get those six inch crazy heels off your feet, that's the key. Now moving from this section of the backpack, we have the next compartment. Now, very, very important, phone charger. Obvious reasons. You don't actually realize how much you are using your phone at the convention. You're texting people, getting in contact, setting up photo shoots, keeping your social media updated, taking pictures, you could be recording on it. And anytime you access the internet, you're also in a space with thousands of other people also using the same towers, so it burns through more. It's, y your battery gets drained pretty darn quick at a convention. And that, so if you're, if you're able to plug this bad boy into a wall, that's a way to go. Or, you can get yourself one of these, a power bank. So if you don't have a power bank, you can, you can try your luck with the traditional one. Hope for an outlet that isn't already being used by somebody else. But now these have gotten much cheaper and they hold much bigger charges. This one holds about three charges, I wanna say. You just plug them in the night before, get them all charged up, then pop them into your phone. Keeps it alive, saves your life. Now, if you plan on getting any art prints, getting any of these plastic folders with firm plastic pieces in the middle for backing, that's always a good idea so your prints don't get crumpled up right after you buy them, that, that wouldn't be great. And then, okay, these things. One of my friends, Alice, she actually introduced me to this idea when I met up with her at a, it was like Daiso Japan, it's like a $1.50 store. Uh, they have these cool, like, they've got gold lining around it, but it's, it's firm, almost like paper-like thing, but for getting signatures, if there's anybody you wanna get a signature from, you got this cool firm thing and like you can get the signature and then you can go artsy fartsy and you can draw and decorate and whatever. And then you have this really cool memorable thing that isn't also just a sheet of paper that could you could risk crumpling or something. And that is all I have in that one back there. Now onto this little pouch here. So this is a, a convenient little pouch at the very top of the backpack. Makes all my ready to grab stuff. I've got ponytails, always good to have if you have long hair and for whatever reason, you take your wig off or you're not wearing a wig and your hair's going everywhere. Always just a good item to have or if a friend needs one or whatever. Another valuable thing, chapstick, if you're not wearing any kind of lipstick stuff on your lips, or if you are, have that same lipstick on hand that you plan to wear with your costume so you can reapply in between meals because as much as you don't want to eat, you gotta take breaks to eat. And then from there, Another lifesaver. This stuff doesn't really want to focus, but this is blotting paper. This is by NYX. Uh, basically, it's very thin paper that you can use to blot up excess oil, which really helps if, once again, you don't have your whole makeup armada with you and you're planning to go for a photo shoot or, or you just feel like you're not so hot anymore. This basically helps you clean yourself up so you're not gonna be all shiny and oily in different pictures. It's, it's just good to wear, good to have because when you're wearing costumes, it does stuff to your skin. So even if you naturally don't get a lot of oil, you could in costume. So it's just a good tool to have. The next thing, 
contact re-wedding drops. I have those at the ready because let me tell you, when you're wearing circle lenses, your eyes get dry. And then finally at the ready, if you have business cards, it's always good to have those so you can give them to photographers, artists, new possible clients, whatever. But it's good to have those in a place where you can easily access them and you're not having to fumble around or whatever and then make things awkward. And then moving right along, we have the next pouch. One of these bad boys, because let's be honest, it gets hot in certain parts of conventions, even if there is air conditioning. You get into the vendor's hall and it's packed shoulder to shoulder people, it's gonna get a little bit spicy. Or if you go outside and, you know, if, if it's 90 degree weather or whatever and you're out there and you're wearing a layered costume, it's, it's gonna get roasty toasty. So having these, not only could it look cool with some characters, be it, you know, on theme enough or whatever, but it will also save you from being a complete melting disaster. I also keep a little pouch like this, that way I am a sucker for buttons and patches, so rather than just dumping them into the abyss that is the big open pouch of the backpack, I prefer to keep them in a, a little contained zone so I can find all of them. You know, if I'm gonna spend all the money hoarding these things, I don't want to lose them. So that's handy dandy if you like to buy small things to have a little pouch to put them in. And then randomly in here, we've got a, an extra wig cap. If you cosplay, you know that wig caps grow legs and walk away. Never to be seen again. You take the wig cap off, you you keep full eye, con eye contact on it while you put it on the counter. You know you put it there. You look away for a fraction of the second to do something else. You look back, it's gone, and no one has ever seen it again. It's just vanished into the void. Wig caps blow away into the wind. So it never hurts to have an extra one on hand for yourself or others, just because while you can buy them for $1.50 here, you go to the convention center, it's gonna be like $5 for a wig cap, because everything is more expensive in the convention center because nothing is nearby. So just be your own friend and make sure you, you get extras if you're gonna be using cosplay wigs and things. And now on to the health items. We've got, of course, tissues. Always good to have any, I, I always have tissues for any kind of event, even if I'm not sick. It's just, it's just good to have. They can be makeshift napkins if there's mess. Anything, just they're lightweight. It doesn't really cost anything. So good to have uh, another lifesaver. Saber. A life saver is a uh, medicine. I did ibuprofen. That you're on your feet all day, sometimes wearing tight wigs, uncomfortable costumes, sore feet. You get a lot of pains being on your feet all day and walking 30,000 steps. It's, it's crazy. So having ibuprofen or Tylenol or any of those things, it's going to be a lifesaver in that it's one of those things that you always need, but it is so easy to forget to pack. So just just remember to jot that down on your list because otherwise you will regret it because it seems like either everybody had remembered to pack it or nobody did. So you don't don't gamble on it. And then also important, I have a little portable fold up hairbrush for uh, either hair or wig, depending what I'm doing. But it's, it's always good to have that, along with your blotting paper and your powder and all the other little repair tools for your beauty. And then the last things in here I have are my camera for vlogging. This is just my GoPro. There are lots of better cameras nowadays for vlogging, like little camcorders and stuff but this is what I have, so I use it, and to make it a little bit easier for myself, I do have the little viewfinder attachment that I can slap on the back of it, and I can actually see what I'm recording, but uh, so it, it works for me. I like to do vlogging. Not everybody does vlogging, you don't need to, so if it's not something you wanna do, you don't particularly need a camera, but I know there's lots of people who enjoy vlogging and don't want to use up their phone battery, so investing in some kind of vlogging camera, camcorder, whatever, might be a good idea if that's something you think you'd enjoy doing. Now we are getting down to the last couple compartments. Uh, this thing that I'm gonna unattach from my bag so I can show you. I always bring one of these things myself. 
that I can put my badge in and attach to my bag or my costume and not have to worry about using the bright, obnoxious, orange, crunchy roll lanyard that they give you for free every year that clashes with every god-awful cosplay under existence because neon freaking orange. I mean, I guess you can wear it with Naruto, but how many of those do we really see anymore? That was a different time. But anyway, yeah, it's good to have one of those things. Bring your own if you don't want to have to makeshift with whatever they give you, if they even give you anything. So I always like to have my own. And then back onto more, a few other things. Uh, I have, what's in here? Band-Aids. <laughs> so uh, I went ahead and got the more expensive band-aids to save weight in my bag. These are the ones that actually already have antibiotic ointment infused in the bandage itself, so I don't have to buy or carry around any extra ointment or whatever. So band-aids, always good to have, and those ones already built in antibiotic, don't gotta worry about anything like that. Other overlooked but great to have things, a pen. Never know when you're gonna need to sign something, when somebody else is gonna need to sign something. So that is great to have. And along with the pen, Sharpie. Protein bars are very good to have. I like to pack the ones, they've got high protein so they last a long time because once again, let's be entirely honest. We don't eat nearly as well as we should at conventions. You have to choose between either going to a panel that you've been wanting to see all weekend or going and eating a meal. Generally, you're gonna go do the panel even though that's not what you should do. So having something like this can really save you, pop it out of your bag, and you won't be hangry. Finally in this pocket, I like to keep mints because, let's be honest, when we're going up and we're meeting people to get autographs and stuff, or people are coming up to get photos with us in our cosplays, I don't want to blast them with dragon breath. So I always like to keep a nice pack of mints on hand so I can make sure my breath is staying fresh. So that's something you may want to consider, but uh, that's just me. And then we'll move on to the last pocket. Okay, and here we go. Here I have an extra pair of regular contacts. And in the same line of thought, I've got the, the contact case. That way, if I gotta take circle lenses out, I don't have to throw them away. I can pop them in here. I can either switch to the new contacts or put my glasses on, and it is not the end of the world. And finally, I keep these in a baggie so they don't, you know, squirt or anything. Miniature deodorant. Oh my God, the amount of people that blatantly do not pack this, let alone I question if they even used it to begin their day in the first place. Deodorant, please, 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 even if you don't wear a bag, put one of these in your pocket, for God's sake, use deodorant, you're in a sea of thousands of people, and generally these people aren't showering as much as they should be. Please, at least use deodorant. I beg you, especially if you're gonna be seeking me out to take photos with me and like trying to put your arm around me and then you lift up your pit near me and... The next thing we have is some lotion that I stole from a hotel. Nice little hand lotion if you need it, small and compact. Everybody has some of those, I'm sure. And then finally, which I deem to be very important, a body spray. I'm not sure what that one smells like, kind of like lilies or something. I don't know. I just grabbed some of the random little ones of the body spray in the travel section at the store. And just being able to have like a little perfume thing along with your deodorant, if you can blast with your perfume or cologne, let me tell you, people are gonna enjoy being around you a whole lot more. I mean, who would you rather stand by? The person who has clearly not bathed in two and a half days and is covered in sweat and there's no deodorant? no perfume or cologne. The only smell they have is their natural sweaty musk. And they come up next to you. Do you think they're gonna wanna hang around that person and have a conversation with them? Or the person who's remembered to constantly keep reapplying deodorant and has a nice spray of a pleasant smell on them and they just radiate out this pleasant, delicious smell. Yes, you're not gonna have a problem standing next to them, conversing with them, and making friends and all that. So just, just consider that you may get used to your personal odor, but those thousands of other people you don't know, even if you've gone nose blind to yourself, 
they can smell you and it's not fun to be around somebody that smells like sweat and body odor. So take care of your hygiene and everybody will be happier all around. Well guys, that is literally all I have in my con bag. So I hope that has been most helpful for you if you've been trying to figure out all the things you need. Um, if there's certain things in here you don't think you're gonna need at all, feel free to disregard it. And if there's some things that I don't pack that you like to pack, feel free to share in the comments below so people can benefit from that as well. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and found it somewhat useful. And please feel free to let me know in the comments also if you would like to see more cosplay related stuff me sharing it with you because I actually do do a lot of cosplay things and that could be another side topic I talk about along with my spooky things. So if you'd like to see more of that from me as well, also let me know. But that is all that I have time for today because I have a convention to get to. So until next time, remember, stay creepy.